Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I literally had the most tiring last like week. I just got back from a 14 hour road trip. I was in British Columbia. That's why I didn't post a couple days, but that's okay. We're getting right back into it. Daily posting, apologize. And we're getting right back into running. I also got some crazy bronchitis stuff you guys already knew. Kind of lingered on, honestly, I probably like held on to it longer than I needed to, like I could have ran, but I don't know. We're gonna get back into it, we're just gonna, whatever, you know, there's not much we can do. If you do have a bad week, like there's nothing you can do. You just have to try not to have them and get right back into it. Um, That gloss has tint on it. Probably shouldn't have put it on for bed, but get ready with me guys. I'm just making myself a pot of tea. Uh, what I've been using a lot is baby oil to moisturize first before I use the high frequency. So that's what we're going to do. Let's clip the hair back. But yeah, I've just been, the entire road trip, we just listened to Robert Greene's, like the rest of his book. And so many people were telling me like he had some crazy conspiracy to him and like he uh, abducted women. I'm not sure if this is true or not. But on my live stream, because I go live on TikTok every day. Uh, a bunch of people were like, oh, he abducted, like, why are you listening to his book? He abducted women. And then I Googled it and nothing came up. So I'm like, are they just lying to me? But we were reading his chapter about, or listening to his chapter about jealousy and stuff. And like how so much of, like not all of it, obviously, but so much of like hatred and like animosity towards you. And probably a lot of the negativity that you've experienced in your life was probably just rooted in envy. And it might not even be something you realize. And it totally makes sense once I explain to you how he explained it to me. I'm scared to turn it on. It's so scary. Okay, so hear me out. And if you disagree with this, like leave it in the comments. Like I'm not saying I 100% agree with him. That's too strong. But he was basically saying how so much better if you use oil first. Wow, that's crazy. Just one second. This is where I get most of my acne. I have no idea why in my forehead. And like, I never used to get acne before, guys. It's where it's, it's probably the running. I hate to say it. But I never got acne as a teenager. I was one of those lucky little teenagers. And everybody in my class was like, oh, she's going to get at least some in her 20s. And I hate to say that they were right. It was jealous ass hoes. But anyway. Oh, yeah. Speaking of jealousy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love you. If you went to middle school with me, don't worry. Or high school. I'm just joking. Um, but anyway. So, yeah. Basically, he was just saying how the feeling of envy is such a shameful feeling. Because you have to admit to yourself that you feel like somebody else is superior to you. Somebody else has something you want. Somebody else is better than you in some way. Because if they had that, they're only, they, like we just are logical beings deep down, you know what I mean, a little bit. And it's like, why do they have what I want? Oh, because they're better than me at something. They're superior to me at something. You just have to like kind of accept that. And the acceptance of that is something that as humans we can't, we don't want to do. We don't want to accept that. We don't want to accept that somebody's better than us. We don't want to accept our inferiority to somebody. So instead, we mask it with hatred or some kind of um, justification. Be like, oh, you know, like you might highlight your downfalls. Like if it's somebody from your, I don't know, somebody who has like, like that's why people hate Nepo babies. Somebody who has like lots of fame and stuff. You, you can, even if you might be jealous of what they have, but why do people, Nepo babies get so much hate? because people are jealous of them and how do they mask it? it? It could be justified, it is justified, that they have a extreme head start, they already had famous parents or very, very wealthy parents. So that's a good example of it. It's like, why do they get so much hate for having a head start? It's not like it was their fault. They didn't do anything wrong. They didn't do anything mean. They didn't do anything negative to, it's not like, you know what I mean? They did something horrible to get that head start. They were just born into it. Why are people so angry at them? Like Hailey Bieber, like, why are people so mad at them? Jealousy, but it's masked by like anger of them being Nepo babies. It's like, oh, she was just a Nepo baby. But it's like, okay, so what? So what? If you were a Nepo baby, would you not use it to your advantage? You know what I mean? Or like, I don't know what else a good example is, but I don't know. I feel like 
That's good, right? I, I don't know if I, I just saw a cloud of smoke come out of there. I don't know. Maybe I'm just rambling. You can let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments. Like, I don't know what a good example is right now. Like, my, I'm just drawing a blank. Like I said, guys, I've been, I literally just drove for like 14 hours. I'm finally in my home. Like, happy to be here. Happy to be home. Uh, I need to wash this oil off and then let's do our skincare routine. Again. Yeah, I'm just trying to get through. Like, I feel like it's such a dense book. Like, there's never just a filler chapter or anything. Like, even though it's such a huge book, it's all filled with crazy examples and like value and stuff so I feel like I like to read it slowly this is like a caffeine solution by the way it's by the ordinary um if you watch some skincare girls they're like oh these only work if you have like the vein I don't know either way caffeine's good for your skin though so anyway yeah it's a, it takes so long to read it I feel like I like to read a chapter and then like actually look around at my life and process is this something that really is occurring in my life? Like, especially the law of persuasion. I was like thinking about that a lot because I worked in sales for so long. Like, you know, a lot to do with sales. And I was like, hmm. But yeah, no, it makes sense. And just basically he just explains back to the envy thing is like, they have to mask it with some form of instead anger. like. Maybe if you've had somebody in your life that just didn't like you for no reason, like they kind of had no reason to not like you. Like it's, you might be surprised at the reasons that people are jealous of you or you've been, because if you think about the reasons you've been jealous of somebody, it could be something that they did, they wouldn't have even have expected. Like maybe, you know what I mean? I don't know. Like everybody experiences it. It's not like we're, um, it's not like it's like a super, it is a negative obviously thing or whatever, but you can, I feel like this is therapy. I feel like you can turn it around and say, well, it's a good sign to know what I'm jealous of because that probably means, like, at least it's a sign of, like, knowing what you want in life. Because I feel like so much people are just dead inside and they don't even know what they want out of life and they just live the day-to-day -day motion, stay at the job that they don't even give a fuck about and just, like, you know what I mean, have such a boring-ass, like, lame kind of situation going on, which is not to say, oh, that's, like, if you have that, then, like, you should be sad. I'm just saying, like, Whatever you're jealous of is probably a sign. Like if you feel lost, like, you know what I mean? And you feel like kind of bored or scared. I feel like whatever you're, je you're jealous of might be a sign of what you actually want to do. Like, you know, so much people don't know what they want to do. Well, who do you envy? Like what, who is it? Like, you know, be honest with yourself. Is it a YouTuber? Do you want to be a YouTuber? Is it a model? You know, like, you know what I mean? Like, I believe you can, at the end of the day, in this day and age, you can literally do anything. Like some of the models that model for like, crazy stuff it's they don't even have the look anymore like what you guys think like six foot super skinny like no you can do it you can take different avenues you know what I mean like there's so much more opportunity I know some people don't like that because they were like oh we should have left it as something that was hard to get and like hard to attain it should have been something you aspire to now everybody's a model I get it I get it I get it but like it's still like we we can't change the situation or we like, we are just living in this time like there's not that much individually we can do about it right now so it's like Take advantage of it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Take advantage of it. If you want to be a model and you're a plus size girl, this is like the only time that, that was this is able to be a thing. You know, the last like, I don't know, was it decade or something like that? Like that's just an example. And with the age of information, like in the internet, like, you know what I mean? You can, you can figure out how to do almost anything and everything. But yeah, uh, we did caffeine, we did the oil, and then we did, Cerave, I ran out of my retinoid. I don't know, guys. I'm literally exhausted. I'm making myself a cup of tea. Uh, yeah, you can even, if you want to leave it in the comments, let me know if you had an experience where you feel like somebody was very mean to you or very, like, just started it off very critical of you or made jabs at you and you feel like deep down it was some something that they were jealous about. Because like, when I was reading it, I was like, this kind of makes sense. Like I started to think back at people who were just, you know, rude or mean or did something for no reason or tried to get under your skin, but for no reason. Like, you know what I mean? Like you didn't have a real reason. Like, you know what I mean? And I feel like as being an attractive woman in society, I'm not, you know what I mean? Not to be cocky or call myself attractive. I'm just saying like, yeah, that makes sense. Women are jealous of you if you are, uh, if they want that. And what woman doesn't want that? There's so many advantages to being beautiful in, in our society. We're a visual society. We judge each other based on appearance. So 
I feel like reading it just made me realize, oh, that might, that makes sense. Uh, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna get back into the running videos tomorrow. And like I said, I go live every day on TikTok too, guys, if you wanna catch me over there. But that's it, guys. That's my video for today. Uh, sorry if it was just thrown kind of thrown together, because it looked like it was. But I hope you have a great rest of your day, everybody. And I'll see you for the next one. Bye.